Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearances of the Week. This is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. We'll be giving you all the first appearances hitting your comic shops today. Now this week, we're back up to normal. We have 12 titles to share with you guys, 7 first appearances, and 5 honorable mentions. I know last week was really, really light, but this week we have a normal amount of titles to share. So let's go ahead and get started with the first appearances of the week, week ending July 23rd, 2021. First up from IDW, Star Wars High Republic Adventures number 6. This features the first cameo appearance of Tal Bota, the first appearance of Leox Gyasi, and the first appearance of Athi Hollow. Next up from DC Comics, Superman and the Authority number 1. This features the first appearance of new versions of Light Ray and Omok, and the first team appearance of an unknown team led by Ultra Humanite. This also features a new Authority roster led by Manchester Black, Midnighter, Apollo, Enchantress, Natasha Irons, Light Ray, and Omok. Next up from Marvel Comics, Alien number 5. This features the first full appearance of the Alpha Xenomorph. Next from Marvel Comics, Moon Knight number 1. This features the first appearance of Dr. Botter. Next up from Marvel Comics, Savage Avengers number 22. This features the first full appearance of a Ghost Rider who existed in the Hyboria Age of Conan's timeline. Next from Marvel Comics, Thor Annual Number 1. This features the first appearance of a dark, twisted version of Thor, who is determined to become the iron-fisted ruler of all the realms. And finally for Marvel Comics, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Jabba the Hutt Number 1. This features the first appearance of Deva Lompok, a bounty hunter. So those are the seven first appearances that we have for you guys this week. But we do have five honorable mentions that are worth taking a look at, so let's go ahead and go through those. First up from Boom Comics, Dark Blood Number 1. After an incident that occurs in 1955 Alabama, a young black man awakens with incredible abilities in a country that never wanted him to have any power. Next up from IDW, Bermuda No. 1. Bermuda is a 16-year-old girl who lives on an island in the Pacific where planes and people go missing, but one such arrival is about to change everything. Next from Image Comics, Siphon No. 1. An EMT is given the ability to sense and siphon pain from others, but this gift quickly becomes a curse as mysterious forces wish to covet this power for their own means. Next from DC Comics, Justice League number 65. This features the origin of Damon Rose, specifically who he is related to in the DC Universe. And finally from Marvel Comics, Miles Morales Spider-Man number 28. In this issue, it is possibly revealed that the clone program has something to do with Weapon Plus, as the Spider-Man clone is referred to as a super soldier for hire. So there you have the 12 titles we have for you guys this week. The 7 first appearances and 5 honorable mentions. Let's go ahead and go through those. We'll pick out our recommendations for which ones we think you should add to your long-term investment portfolio. Now first up from IDW, Star Wars High Republic Adventures number 6. There's a couple first appearances in here and a cameo appearance as well. We always say the Star Wars titles that feature first appearances always pick these up for the cover price. For a couple dollars you can't go wrong. You don't know what Star Wars, what Disney is going to do with these particular characters. So it's always worth adding them to your collection for the cover price. Pick this one up. Now next from Marvel Comics, Alien number 5. This features the first full appearance of the Alpha Xenomorph. Now, this is the first time that Marvel is doing the Alien comic book series, and this is the first full appearance of the Alpha Xenomorph in that series. We do think this one's worth picking up. If you don't agree, you can definitely put this one on your B-list, but we do think this is worth adding for the cover price. Go ahead and pick this one up. Next up from Marvel Comics, Moon Knight number 1. Now, this features the first appearance of Dr. Botter. Moon Knight is going to be a big franchise. You know, the MCU is working on a Moon Knight feature film. We do believe this character is going to be prominently featured in future films and in the MCU, if not in a streaming series. So we do think this is worth picking up. Add this one here to your collection. Savage Avengers number 22 from Marvel Comics. Now this features the first full appearance of a Ghost Rider who existed in the Hyboria Age of Conan's timeline. We don't really know what Marvel is going to do with this particular character. They might spin it into something bigger. But we really don't know too much about this character just yet. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on our B-list for now. We recommend you doing the same. Keep an eye on it though. Next up from Marvel Comics, Thor Annual Number 1. This features the first appearance of a dark twisted version of Thor who is determined to become the iron fisted ruler of all the realms. Now this one here we do think is worth picking up for the cover price. You know Marvel the MCU is still going very strong. The Thor franchise, well Thor character and that franchise is still very very popular. One of the fan favorites. So it all depends on what Marvel does with this particular dark twisted version of Thor. But we do think this has promise. We do think you should add this one to your collection. And next from Marvel Comics, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Jabba the Hutt number 1. 
Here's another first appearance in a Star Wars title. We do think this is worth picking up. Devil Lompop, a bounty hunter, is introduced in this particular issue. We do think this is worth adding for the cover price. Star Wars, Marvel, Disney, huge, huge push for the, all these Star Wars characters. You don't know where they're going to appear, what feature films, what TV shows, what streaming shows. So it's worth picking this one here up for the cover price. Add this into your collection. Now for the honorable mentions. From Boom Comics, Dark Blood number one. This is a story that after an incident that occurs in 1955 Alabama, a young black man awakens with incredible abilities in a country that never wanted him to have any power. Now in the current market environment, we do think this here has great potential to be picked up and made into a feature film or a TV series. So this is one worth specking on. So go ahead and add this one to your collection for the cover price. Once again, this is more of a speculative bet. If current market conditions stay the same, this here we do believe probably will be optioned and picked up. If things change in the market, this one here may not go anywhere. So this is definitely purely speculation. Go ahead and pick this one here up if you like. Otherwise, put it on your B list, address it later. Next up from IDW, Bermuda number one. This is the story of Bermuda, the 16 year old girl who lives in an island in the Pacific where planes and people go missing. This one here sounds like it can lend itself very well to TV or film. So this one here we do think is worth picking up for a speculative bet. Once again, if this is picked up, it'll go somewhere. If not, we really don't think this has much promise. But you know, if it's picked up and you only pay three or four bucks for it and it becomes huge, you're sitting on a winner. So give this one here some consideration. And finally, for Marvel Comics, Miles Morales Spider-Man number 28. In this issue, it is possibly revealed that the clone program has something to do with Weapon Plus, since the Spider-Man clone is referred to as Super Soldier for Hire. This one here may be worth picking up if those two programs are related. It really all depends on what Marvel does with those programs. If they push them into the MCU, if they push them into streaming shows. You know, it really depends on how much prevalence they give to Weapons Plus program or to the clone programs and to the Miles Morales Spider-Man in that environment. So this one here, once again, is a little bit more of a speculative bet, but for three or four bucks, you can add this to your collection. It is a Marvel title. Marvel titles, you typically can't go wrong for three or four dollars for the cover price. So there you have all our recommendations for the week ending July 23rd, 2021. Please drop some comments in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.